Oops. Hi. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I am working on putting a floor in my woodshed here. This wood here that I'm tossing out right now is the wood that was in there. It was kind of in my way. So I got it out of there yesterday. Didn't get a chance to get my truck unloaded yet. Today, this afternoon, I have to go in and uh, do some work at the snowmobile club. Basically, get that blade off the tractor that I, I damaged pushing gravel around. And uh, that's going to be going to the welder to get repaired. And we've got to get the brush cutter on the tractor so we can start brushing the trails. So I thought I'd show you this morning uh, what I'm doing here. And rather than bore you with everything, I thought I would uh, put it on hyperlapse and let you watch it in, in uh, faster motion. But right now, let me show you what we got. So these are, uh, I think they're three by threes basically, and this one's a, maybe a five by three. And these are going to be the uh, braces for the floor. And the, this is one inch approximately. That's going to uh, cover that. And then this old stump right there, I want to cut that off the same height as these, or pretty close to it, hopefully not without uh, doing a lot of damage to my chain on my chainsaw, so that I can have a nice board across there. Also, here where I've got the boards on the back, let's see, I get a little farther away so you can see, where I've got the boards on the back, I want to put an extra board or two in there, just so when I stack the wood in, it helps to keep it from falling. Okay, so I'm going to go get the stuff. I need a chainsaw, I need some screws, I need some boards, and... Uh, Hmm, a level. So, I'll go get the stuff and I'll let you guys see it when I get it here. Uh, I moved a bunch of wood out of the way here that uh, I figured I was going to trip over. They say that uh, failing to plan or is planning to fail. So I've kind of made a plan. These pieces are 98 inches long. And then this is the longest one and it's 10 feet. And this one's a little shorter. So we'll fit that in there some way. Uh, what I'm trying to do right now is kind of just get these level in and out. I've already, the end of my 98 inch pieces will land on this one right here and that one down there. So let's, let's do this first. You may notice that uh, I brought another level out. This is Laura's level. And uh, the reason I did that is because the only way you can see the level on my level, which is over here, is you have to get down here to look at it. And on this level, you can see the bubble when through the top. So if, if you can see this, which you probably can't, right there. So I, I need to come up here uh, short ways. So I'm uh, shimming them up. I'll get that part done and then I'll level it the other way. So I am going to uh, I'm 
I'm gonna put her in hyperlapse again and let you guys see what's going on that way. These are gonna are fairly level and they're gonna have to be spaced out. I took these shorter pieces out, plus I'm gonna, when I cut the ends of these off, these are gonna be 60 inches long and I'll cut the ends of off and fill in there too, but that'll all have to be shimmed. But I'm concerned right now with uh, that stump, kind of getting it out of the way. trip over anything here. So I just set that on there to kind of give me an idea. I don't want to get my chain all dirty, but I think if I cut this here, I can probably come in and cut that away there and uh, safely without wrecking my chain. Hopefully. Chains don't like dirt. They don't like rocks. We got both here. All right, so I uh, recently got some safety equipment. If you look at uh, my blue jeans from the, the last uh, video that I hasn't published yet, but I intend to publish. Uh, where I was working on a sawmill, you'll see there was a, a hole in the pant leg right here. And uh, if you saw about several pair of my jeans, you would see a hole in my pant leg right there. Well, what uh, put the hole in the pant leg was my chainsaw. For some reason, I don't know if I rest the saw there or what I do, but these chaps here or protective, I think they call them chaps, should solve that little problem for me, I hope. Okay, and ah, this is overkill, but I bought a new helmet at the same time. And we used to have one around here. Laura had the sign shot, but I don't know what happened to it. And plus I got, I do have ear protection and uh, another uh, face shield. But I don't know what happened to that helmet. All right, now I can't hear a thing.
Yeah, I think that'll work. I think that'll work. Nice big little spider there. All right. Shut her down. Somehow I feel much safer.
Well, I took a little time off. I had to go to town and do some work for the Snowmobile Club. So this is where I got before I left. You notice we got a long shadow right now. It's about six o'clock at night. And <clears throat> I've started doing the floor. I've got some uh, video at Hyper. So we'll turn the Hyper back on, see if we can get this finished here before it uh, gets dark. Well, I didn't quite get it done, but it's time to clean up and go in. I'm tired, sweating. So that's what we got. That's a real improvement over what I had before. I'll put a couple boards in the back there. You can see the tarp back there, uh, a couple boards in the back so that my wood doesn't fall out. I need a couple more boards up here. And I got one there on the ground. I got a couple right here. And I may have to saw something, but um, I'll put something on the face here, but that can be three quarter inch. I'm trying to do this with the one inch or so. So anyway, thanks for watching. And uh, come on back again later. God bless. You ready to go in, troop? Huh? 
Yeah, you done? Are you finished? Yeah. I'm not going anywhere, so you're not going to ride in the pickup truck. We're going in the house, so okay. All right. Bye-bye.